dog. How y'all doing, man? It's Big Time Chub, man. Welcome to my crib. Come on, Philly. Yeah, yo, man. Like I said, it's a little tour I'm going to give you. First of all, man, like I said, welcome to my house, though. Right here is the living room. See? You know, they too big like everyday people, you know? But we do got the big screen all day, every day. You know? Come on, Philly, man. It's a kid. Family just left real quick, so it's all good. We got Kenny right here. He's coming this house smoking a cigarette. And uh, come on through here. We're gonna check out the bedroom. Real quick, though, you know, it's a little line for stuff. I ain't gonna work on all that. Come on through here. Whoa. You know what's kind of messy with you? Yeah. <laughs> this is my sister's room. We ain't gonna go too far up here. Like I said, this is my sister's room. I guess this they stay in there, go to sleep with them. We ain't going there. Yeah, I'm taking y'all through here to the rest of the tour of the house, man. Come Yeah, I mean, right here, you know, we got the boys. We look at every day. You know, I look at this every day before I go to my room. Always gives me insight who's watching over me in my house, you know, because we're blessed. You know, he blesses dramatically. Come on through here. Right there, as you see, man, that was Kenny's room. You know, you don't, you don't get to see him that much, you know. He stays in his room, isolated, you know. And we got the bathroom right here, you know. You know, we got the business with him. Okay, come on in here. Oh, this is where I got to make my bed. <laughs> 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 then you come in here, man, this is my room. Really, this is where I be isolating myself, you know. And I got the hundred dollar bill on the wall. You know, I, eventually this is what I'm gonna be making every day. You come over here. This, this is where the match key is right here, though. You feel me? Yeah, right there, big screen, boy. Boy, in the room. Hey, yeah, we gotta pan out the camera. We gotta, yeah, we gotta move the camera back so we can get it in there so you can see the whole thing. You feel me? And we got a little thing. You know, I got my Bible right there, always reading it. You know, and I got my little nephew stuff right here. You know, and, and no, I'm not driving it while I'm on house arrest, bro. Cause I'm bored. No, I ain't doing none of that. He just, he's always in here messing around. You feel me? You know, and, uh, that's basically my house, man. You know, like I said, it ain't too big, but it's just enough for the family. You feel me? We ain't, we ain't got a lot of money like that, but we don't need no money like that, you know? How y'all doing, man? My name is Cameron, aka Big Time Chubbs, BTC, with Kevin Smith Productions. You know, y'all better listen to me real close, man, because I'm going to the top, man. Be welcome to listen to me and join in, you know? Most of y'all do know me. I'm from Glasgow, Kentucky. All right, man, when I was younger, my uh, my father, he uh, he wrote music a lot, and uh, he wrote music, uh, he wrote songs to my mom back in, uh, I, I think I was before I was born, you know, but when I grew up, I heard his music, you know, and that, that right there inspired me to start writing music and see where I could go in life with it, you know, and, uh, you know, whenever he passed away back in 2010, man, I had to basically fill his shoes with my lyrics and my music, you know, and, even though he like he's more of a R and B song, I'm I'm rap, you know, rap, you know, sometimes hardcore, but most of the time, you know, it's just smooth, you know, more more to fill the soul than anything else, you know. Yeah, man, uh it's kinda of funny how everything came together, man. Like me and uh Kevin Smith, you know, Kevin Smith Productions, we uh we both worked at a fast food restaurant, you know, as uh Mancino's. And uh, we got pretty cool over, you know, we got pretty close and stuff. And uh, I didn't know that he was, like, in the music industry, doing the music industry. And uh, he didn't know that I rapped. And, you know, and then I played him a couple songs. And uh, he liked he liked my lyrics and he liked my flow and my rap. And uh, so he gave me a shot, man. And that right there shows me that, you know, if he can give me a shot, man, that means we both are going to make it. Because he has the experience. And I have the voice, you know, so 
that's where we're going to go, and that's where we're going to go ahead in 2013, you know. And uh, if anybody wants to follow me up on Facebook or Twitter, man, be more than happy to do that, man, because I will tweet back or I'll message you back on Facebook, man, because like I said, I'm no better than everybody else out here, man. I'm gifted, but if you want to talk to me, man, I will come to you and talk to you face to face. I'm from Indiana, Lafayette, like 30 minutes away from Naptown, but uh, moved down here in Kentucky. And uh, but three years ago, man, it's, uh, it was a bad road, man. It's uh, it's almost been about three years since my dad died, so I was about 17 at the time, and uh, that's where really when I started getting in a lot of trouble, man. And I ran away from the Lord a lot, you know, and uh, started hanging with the wrong crowd, and you know, started doing drugs and drinking heavy alcohol, and started stealing, robbing, fighting, you know, knocking people out for no reason involved, you know, but. Uh, Changed my life around, man, for the better. I found the Lord this year, 2012, you know. It's better, better to say now than later. Okay. And fans can connect to me just because I'm just like another human being, man. I ain't nothing special than anybody else, man. Even though I'm gifted in music and lyrical-wise, man, everybody's the same, man. So when a fan looks at me, and I guess if they feel inspired by what I'm saying and what I'm talking about, then that makes me feel good, you know. It makes me feel like I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing, you know. Because I can help that fan in the long run if they want to talk to me about anything, you know. If they right. want to hit me up on Twitter or Facebook, you know. I'll be there for them. I ain't going to be like some conceited, famous artist that's better than them in any way, you know. Because I'm, right now, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm the same person as it is. But like I said, man, I'm glad y'all came in to see my crib. And you know, I appreciate y'all stopping by in my video, man. If y'all have anything to say to me, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or message Kevin Smith Productions. You will be happy to fill you in on details. I'll see y'all. Sometimes I think about the shit I said before I thank it. So when your girl tell me she loves me, I stop and I thank it. But she a stripper though. She ain't no cheerleader. Touchdown, I dig the down home run. Dick Jeter. New York Yankees. Call me a bigger Mike Vigor. She catching love for me. So I put her on my team. Call it bitches stalking me. Call it bitches staring at me. Listen to me, students. I'm the dean. Come suck the